What's up everyone? I'm back with Idiot Friend. Um, today we are going to be doing a few last jobs on his M3 before, I guess it's before paint really isn't it? Is it? Uh, yeah. There's not really much left to do. Um, if you caught up with the previous videos, um, Cam's car was sort of abandoned at the side of the road for like a year and we've just been going through it doing what was necessary. Um, obviously the, the, the paint and bodywork we're not going to deal with. Um, but it's it's almost there. You've got a running, driving car with an interior again. So yeah, other than it stopped getting reversed again this morning. Yeah, we're having a bit of a CAE problem, so we're going to have to fiddle, might have to fiddle with that if we've got time. But um, today, Chibosh. Chibosh day. Chibosh. So when I took it for its MOT, uh, <coughs> the headlights weren't work. One of the headlights wasn't working. I took it off, and it was because the lens was cracked. Uh, thankfully it just dried out and started to work um, but obviously I needed some new lenses I didn't really want to pay the money BMW charged for them so I tried to find ones that were decent quality uh, and still had the three lines in because a lot of them don't uh, in the picture they just looked exactly the same as the OEM ones but I, I love this it's absolutely these aren't hilarious. Bosch these are Chubosh Chubosh which so, I'm assuming is Chinese Bosch. Chinese Bosch because in China it's quite common to like name a company by Chinese. I think someone else is. <laughs> yeah. Um, so <laughs> we've got. Well, the stupid thing is that the factory ones don't even have Bosch on them. Yeah, they that, just don't that's, have anything. That's what we've been laughing about it quite a lot. But um, the funny thing is, uh, as you can see, there's nothing written on the OEM ones, so. I don't know where they've got Chibosh from. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's a top quality. I'm not even though. sure if uh, is OEM even Bosch. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty certain it is. Yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know like 100, percent but I'm guessing that they would use something yeah, like Bosch. Sense. Sense. So <laughs> yeah, if you're going to copy yeah. something, yeah. So we've got that um, headlight washer actuator, which I'm yeah, will be off anyway. Uh, because mine had snapped along there. So obviously it didn't work anymore so that needs changing and that's why that isn't installed so get that back on there as well um, it's now uh, it's the, the car was actually clean um, it was hailstone in on the drive down and it's now bright and sunny outside which is England um, we might do a bit of um, tailpipe clean up um, the exhaust a bit rummy so uh, we've got some. We always like well, good, good clean done. Cleaning don't we? stuffs always, uh, cleaning stuffs always good. But they, like, if you look at them, they are quite, quite disgusting. Uh, are these the Euro ones or the? These are. This is a genuine knockoff. Just Miltec. A, oh, it's Miltec, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, I forgot about it. It's Chimiltec. <laughs> Chimiltec. Yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't know if they were. You know the. It did have the Euro. Tips oh yeah, Euro the, uh, things at the bigger. Yeah. But the back box was totally uh, And then I tried to take the tailpipes off it, and they were just. It was all just knacked, so I ended up buying yeah. that. Oh. Um, yeah, but obviously I haven't looked after it, so we need to just try and clean it up. Yeah. Um, you may have noticed. <laughs> Uh, I was supposed to have sort of got a video together on the E30, but this will probably be out beforehand. Um, it's in a current state of subframes off, tank off, etc. Uh, we're doing some rust repair at the minute, uh, which I will. I'll be on with later today after Cam's gone, I guess. So we'll try and get his car done first, and then I'll continue with the E30. So there's probably going to be more of a big update on that because I don't want to sort of just like bodywork takes time obviously the metal work and I want it done properly um, and I don't want to just drip feed in like oh look I've stuck one piece of metal on the car every week so uh, you're going to have to be a bit patient with that one I think that one should come off easily because it's been on for about fucking 800 times so I reckon headlight off on this side but we might not actually need to take that headlight off This is the side we're replacing the washer jet actuator on, so obviously I've took the headlight right out. Um, 
I think the lenses you can actually do without, but it's probably easier just to. Take, I think take that indicator out. It's probably yeah, easier to get just, it out. Isn't it? I don't think I'll have to take the headlight out. Yeah, because I, I mean, there is there is benefits to this because a lot of headlights are actually bonded, um, and you can't really replace the lens without sort of heating them up and taking them off. So um, these actually just just clip on. So it's ten points to a A forty six, I think, for that one. Ooh, that's a very crispy noise. That's it. For Crunch. The, for the indicator. Because you know when you're getting two bits of plastic, yeah, with all those slide clips, it just feels like it's gonna go up. Um, good news is the bottle's really, really crushed, so that doesn't mean that. Chibosh, I'm ready for a Chibosh. The magic of Chibosh. Have you got the actual headlight washer jet? I think you're just making excuses to be honest. Sorry? I think you're just making excuses. You know the, that bit that's already snapped off here? Yeah. Well it looks like it's going to do the same on that one. There's the... Because that just pushes into the actuator once oh, right, you've yeah. got it fitted. Yeah. You just need to Push it on from get the a pair of pliers, pull it out yeah. and then just slide it in. I think we give the uh, give the Chibosh a good ten out of ten review, like don't we? Yeah. For both comedy value and ease of installation. I mean, they actually look they look so good. You almost don't notice that um, the cars three different three different colours. <laughs> Damn! Right, the headlights are working. Your yeah, indicators are working. Do you want to try the washer and see if it pops out? Moment of truth. Yeah, boy. Works. We were going to repair this, um, but I think what we're going to have to do is glue washers onto the back of it because it pulls the plastic through and we can't find any glue. So I'm putting this in the video to make Cam accountable. Um, <laughs> so next time you see this car, if this isn't fixed, I'm just gonna rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do some pipe cleaning. <laughs> What's this wheel clip? Yeah. Can't be getting in on the action. One side each. One side each. Yeah. Gonna see who's the pipe master. <laughs> yeah. Master of the pipes. Who's the master of the pipes. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a pipe off. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new detailing tool. Uh, if anyone wants to to buy it, it's uh, nine hundred quid. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> I think you need to trim that brush down a bit. Yeah, I need to like 
take some off it, don't we? You've never got a knife. Right, I've given up on the uh, on the tool because you haven't given up. It, uh, the, br the brush is hollow. We need some. We need some solid brushes. I think some solid shank brushes. So we'll just we'll just continue with this um, with this brush with no nice sharp edge on it. <laughs> Look at them shiny boy. Don't know. You reckon you've won? Definitely. I've definitely won. Put it to the public vote, I think. The public will vote for me. Don't worry. Who won? Half ass job that. Tip top. Ten out of ten. Close inspection. Nah, it looks way better though, doesn't it? They're not 100% perfect, but uh, I, haven't, I don't think I've been there for about three or four years, so... Yeah, so it's 100% it's your fault either way, no matter who's... <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, uh, I appreciate this video has probably not been that organised or, or good because every time every time we get together it just turns into stupid behaviour and we don't really plan anything do we? So. Uh, I normally forget everything that I'm supposed to bring Yeah. Uh, and then nothing goes to plan. But so. I think so far we've, we've, we've done alright. Um, just as a, as a sort of overview, um, we've sorted the diff bush which was the initial yeah. sort of big thing. Um, new stud and, and nut kit, on. new wheels. Um, what else did we do? Last time? Properly, properly, properly cleaned it, like all the mould. Yeah, all sort of a thorough there. clean out of all the, uh, the mould and crap this needs doing, which is a, a common E46 thing. Um, but it's it's pretty nice inside now. It's got a nice, nice full interior. Um, and it's, just, it's sort of just a nicer place to be and to drive really yeah. isn't it so well the, all the interior um all the interior bits i steam cleaned it all and like leather cleaner conditioned it so it's all it's back decent. like it's yeah, nice it's isn't it good. it's, it's back like, together just like the carpets and stuff i cleaned out all the carpets and it is yeah i mean, I mean it's full of crap at the minute but it's yeah you can see it's everything's nice um but it's it's just a nicer place to be, isn't it? So you've uh, obviously you've you've got kids and you want to be able to share the car with your family. Yeah. Stuff, so. I think really interior-wise, the only other thing I want to do is get the steering wheel retrimmed and get a gator for the like tidy up around the the gear shifter yeah, a bit because yeah. it's a bit. Yeah. It just I've actually a messy. Uh, I've got a I've got a new gator to go on mine, which I need to do. Um, but my uh, Alcantara steering wheels hold up really well. Yeah. Um, I think that's what I'll do the same. Yeah, well, people people go on about um, Alcantara wearing and and like looking crap after a short amount of time, and I think I've had it for like three years, and it's it's perfectly fine. I don't know what the problem is. Um, whereas obviously, it's uh, it's like yeah, ideal. You, they, they start to go shiny as they yeah, wear and yeah. stuff, don't they? But um, I think uh, I think we're done for today. Obviously, because you have to you have to go, but. We've we've made good progress, I think, with the car. Yeah. Um, Had a good time. What's left to do? Uh, Obviously, this uh, this piece that you're gonna you're gonna fix, so I don't rip it off next this, time. This guy. Yeah. Uh, th to be fair, there's loads of like little snagging bits that need doing. I need to fit those new front arch liners. Yeah. Um, I've got all the clips for that. I've got some uh, bits for the front bumper to make that fit better. Um, what else? Well, it's all it's all going to come apart for paint anyway, so I guess yeah. clips and stuff oh, you I can. I need a new new wiper blade after. Oh yeah, yeah. destroying that. Um, there's nothing. I don't think there's anything really major. Uh, it's just like little little bits, little bits and pieces. Yeah, that need taken mm. care of. So mm. I should really make a list because I think of things and then they're on my mind right up until the point I actually have to do something. Until you have to bring forget. things here and yeah. then forget. And then I leave it. I might utilise that whiteboard. Yeah, good idea. I should probably do that since I've got two of them. Um, <laughs> right, well, I think we'll close it out there for today. Um, 
Really, I, I, I mean, I don't know how many people want to watch this kind of stuff, but we just do it to have fun, really, because chilling out with your mates and fixing the cars is, is what we like doing. So if you do like it, then thanks for watching. And if you don't, you can uh, you can press the, the dislike button twice and you can do one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to be doing. <laughs>